What is good? Fuck good. <laughs> Everyone. Shoobs here. <laughs> this is so scuffed. <laughs> These were sent over for a honest review. They are in stock on Bolsa Supply, which I am affiliated with. You can use the link in the description or code SHUBES for 5% off to help me out. What is good everyone? SHUBES here. Today we will be looking at these red little devils. These be the red Doctobers. <laughs> God. Oh no. <laughs> But for real, these are red as hell and are the Corsa switches from Bolsa Supply and wait for it, they are a light tactile with a long stem. Now I find it pretty hard to believe we haven't gotten too many light tactiles with long stems but in general we haven't gotten that many light tactiles at all and this will probably be one of the first ones that I'll be checking out. And as a big light tactile enjoyer, shout out to MX Browns, as well as a long pole fan, shout out Boba U for T's, on my tactiles, this switch has gotten me quite intrigued. So some more details on these Corsa switches, they are a light to medium tactile switch based around ergo clears but I do think these are a bit lighter than that. Manufactured by Texi featuring a full nylon housing as well as a long palm stem and a 60 gram gold plated slow spring. Anyways here are the switches we'll be comparing these Corsa switches to, details will be on the screen through my scuffed editing skills and yeah. So looking at some of these stems you can see that the Corsa stem is around the same length as the Halo or Holy Panda stems and just slightly shorter than the Boba U4Ts but it is a long stem compared to the standard length. Here we'll do a quick scuffed stem wobble test just keep in mind that there is batch variants and all that so this isn't accurate at all. We're just showcasing a few manufacturers and uh, cherry switches definitely a lot of wobble need the neat films the pewters jwk's also neat films in my opinion uh, as well as the t1s these two are manufactured by jwk boba u4t's tight as hell don't need films holy pandas i would film as well sp star meteor oranges are very tight just like other sp star switches do not need films and the Tixi courses very very tight much like most other Tixi switches and I don't think they really need films okay I'm not gonna lie these switches look fucking sick on a board when it's uh, naked like this god damn the red really pops so we so before we get to the sound head so before we get into the sound test, please keep in mind that everybody's setup is different. Everyone's desk setup, desk mats, keyboard case, room acoustics, looping technique, and all that. And so just take this with a grain of salt because it is not 100% accurate.
Well, in terms of tactility, this is what the chart would be looking like from least tactile to most tactile. And the Corsa switches, I would put slightly above the pewter range. Uh, now, the tactility on these are not as strong as, say, Ergo clears. They are pretty similar though, but they're still not as strong as clears in my opinion. But rather, they feel like a slightly stronger version of the pewters, which I really, really like, with a very similar rounded bump. Honestly, this might be one of the most satisfying, sort of soothing bumps I've tried. It isn't fatiguing at all, while still giving a bit more of a finger stimulation. <laughs> okay, that is a weird way to say it, but a bit more stimulation than the pewters themselves. As for the sound profile of these switches, uh, with the pewters being the highest pitch, I actually would put the Corsa switch right underneath the super deep category. I don't think they're as deep as Boba U4Ts, but they are pretty dang deep. It has the similar sort of hard hitting bottom out as the Boba U4Ts as well. It also exhibits the same sort of hard bottom out that the Boba U4Ts has to produce that sort of rich, creamier, deeper sound with its nylon housing. Overall, these switches are very nice. However, there is one potential issue that I found. Out of the 70 switches I got, around 5 had some slight leaf noise. I actually find this leaf noise apparent in many light tactiles, or almost all light tactiles such as the pewters, cotton candies, MX browns, and meteor orange. And luckily, these Corsa switches so far have the lowest amount of leaf ping out of all of the light tactiles that I've tried, but a few still had them. I do, however, think that the leaf noise on these, at least on the 5 that had leaf noise, are super quiet, and I only really heard them because I was testing each switch right next to my ear. However, I just wanted to point that out since that could still be a potential issue. All in all though, this switch made me very happy. It made me as happy as when Bolsa came out with the Zakus. This switch is putting together some of my favorite features on a tactile switch, which is light tactility and a hard hitting bottom out. Essentially, I would categorize these Corsas as a love child between a pewter switch and a Boba U4T. It really has that similar hard hitting bottom out, as well as deep sound that the Boba U4Ts have while keeping- oh shit. <laughs> while keeping that crisp, light, soothing, and non-fatiguing bump that the pewters have with just a little bit more oomph. I gotta say, I really do dig these switches, and I will most definitely be using them in some future personal builds. Also, this red is like so fucking vibrant, look at this shit. These do be the red Doctobers. Anyways guys, thank you guys so much for checking out the video till the end and thank you for all the support on my last video. <laughs> that was a real dumb one, but it's um, I see you guys like that sort of shit, so I'll be trying out more cringy stuff in the future. More content on the way soon, and I'll see you guys in the next one.